What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're in Motorfest and we're going to take a look at a drift car called the Agera R. It's the drift car that I love using for the grand races. So let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for a community of racers to play with, join our Discord. There's a link in the description down below. This is also where I do all of my giveaways, and we have every topic in there from the Crew Motorfest, the Crew 2, to Need for Speed Heat, Need for Speed Unbound, everything Need for Speed, and all kinds of other racing games. There's over 14,000 members there, so hit that link and join us. All right, let's get into this. All right, there's a few drift cars that you can choose from when it comes to doing the grand races, but I recommend anything that's like hypercar ish and i would consider the agera sort of in that category this is the drift edition of that car but it handles a lot better just by picking a hypercar style drift car that's number one number two the agera has a specific tune that i've put on it that makes it a little bit less slippy i'm not gonna say that it's not slippy at all like it's a drift car it's gonna drift when you take the corners you're not gonna be able to grip it like you could with a hypercar or street car or whatever it's gonna drift but it actually hooks up quite nicely after you've taken the, the drift so it's something that i prefer to use in the grand race and it definitely helps me overtake people now let's get into the pro settings really quick because there's only a couple of changes that i made to it all right so first you can see that this top speed of this is 273 you're never going to hit that in a drift car unless you're like going in a straight line, but there's none of those in this game. The acceleration is at 2.9, braking is 23.6, which is not the best, but it works really well for drifting. And then lateral G's is 1.1. Again, it's very good for drifting. As you can see, I've only driven this 60 miles. This is something I use only in the grand races. I haven't really done a lot of the drift racing yet, but here are the pro settings that I'm currently using. So we've got nothing up here. So the first thing I've changed is the aero load in the front. So I've got it at minus 10. That just gives the front a little tiny bit of lift and it allows the back to grip just a tiny, tiny bit more. You can turn in a little bit easier without it slipping out. And then I've got your suspension in the front down at minus 11. Uh, no changes here until you get to the camber in the rear, which is a minus 0.12. And that's the entire tune. It's very simple. I didn't increase the ARBs. I didn't um, increase the camber in the front. It looks like uh, pretty much stock, but with a couple of changes. And that's really what it is. But it's because this car already performs fairly well in those grand races. And this tune is specific to those types of races. It's meant to be able to race the car and you could probably do a little bit more extreme stuff with this tune but for me this feels really really solid i actually went crazy with these sliders and tested like extremes they like stiffened up the rear completely and loosened the front and trying to get more traction in the rear and the reality is it's a drift car and it's meant to be drifted so the game is giving it way less grip than it would any other car in the game. So anyway, that's what it is. I'm going to show you a little clip from a grand race that I did not too long ago where I'm in first. You can see that I'm still drifting these corners, but at the same time, I'm able to hook up right afterwards and accelerate out. And that actually combined with NOS is very powerful when it comes to these drift events. It's one of the things that I think a lot of players don't really like about the grand races or the drift events and um, maybe the Alpha GP starts, those are pretty rough. But anyway, you can see from the clip that it's, it's definitely slidey. It definitely still drifts, but you can actually really rail through these corners. All you have to do is downshift once and uh, the back end comes loose and then you can stay on the throttle and it actually goes in the direction that you're trying to make it go. I was driving it a little bit sloppy in this, but it is what it is, man. This is, uh, this is the build. I strongly recommend using this for the grand races it's one of my favorites and i'm gonna leave it at that uh you can watch the rest of this clip you can dm me any questions you have and uh, i'll catch you on tomorrow's daily build thanks for watching trigger out